do that anyway. <laughs> okay guys, so this is my first video on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching this, thank you for clicking like, share, subscribe. friends and we're going to basically be doing girl talk kind of give you advice from college relationships you name it life experiences and so welcome and I'm gonna start off with my name if you guys didn't know my name is Victoria this is my channel <laughs> and I go to a and uh, uh, I'm Sheree I'm Alicia yeah, I'm Bobby. And we all go to a t by the way. <laughs> and you cry. <laughs> I don't know about that now. Um, <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> and so we're all juniors, by the way. Um, and so I'm going to start with a few questions. Okay. Um, feel free to answer at your own risk, you know. Well, you're not like that. Okay. <laughs> so starting off, rate your college experience so far from 1 through 10. We can start with Bobby. So you said, mm. <laughs> I personally think fresh, like we want to go like freshman or just all as a whole. Like, like the whole sophomore. experience so far since we're New Year's. I honestly say it's been like an eight. It's an eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. um, I say a seven. I seven. say a seven. Yeah. I'll say eight point uh seven point five. Seven point five. I say a good seven. Okay. Um. Y'all wanna go around and say why? Yeah, I will. Oh. I feel like freshman year, it was like, you're new. I was fresh to everything. We both were fresh to everything. Everything was new and exciting. But then once you like get into the groove of it, you realize that really everybody's on the same type of vibe, same type of energy. So finding your own groove and your own clique is the way to go. Yeah. So it's just finding yourself in all of like the chaos of college. I feel what like was. freshman year was a fever dream. I, I don't know, like, for me, it was a fever dream. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I know for me, it was more so like I had to go through so much stuff to like learn and that balance everything. It was hard, but at the end of the day, I'm grateful because it made me to the person I am now. Especially like gaming, losing friends, that all made me to who I am as a person now. So I'm grateful, honestly. Heavy on the loser friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, what's one piece of advice you would give a freshman coming in? Ooh. Watch the people you're around. Oh, well, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, maintain that GPA. Yeah. Um, have fun, but also go to office hours like I learned that as a junior I was playing in freshman year because I just wanted to have fun go to office hours please yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know not one don't know, like, at least I'll be winging it yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh okay. all right break yourself one through ten nine all right because I'm not perfect but god this big one on me I'm sorry <laughs> Eight. Eight. Yeah. I'll say it's <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah. I'll say eight on a bad day, nine on a good day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's your worst college experience so far? Ugh. Let me even think. Hold on. Yeah, that, that, we might have to run that one back. I don't. I'll be for real. So much stuff that's happening. y'all know, y'all know, I I'm real let it go. I, so I really don't have no bad experience because I just walk away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a few. <laughs> bad I mean, I got a fall in there. I was too, but yeah. that's about it. I want to say bad. I would say lesson learned. Lesson learned. It's lesson more learned. so because they, they weren't bad. They were just lessons. Oh, oh my God. Okay. I'll tell you my like. Personally, don't come in with a boyfriend. I mean, he's just old. Of course. I, you know, but I feel like when you're coming to college, you really don't know yourself. And I didn't, and I'm trying to find new friends, find out what my style is, what I'm doing. And so I feel like coming with a relationship kind of put a strain mm -hmm. on like really my experience in the beginning. I mean, of course I still had fun. It was the best year um, out of all my years here, but it was still, it wasn't, it could have been better. You know, I didn't have to deal with the stress of the breakup, all that stuff. 
so i feel like coming in without anybody and just kind of just going in and going with yourself is the best way to go for me i mean some people have good relationships and boyfriends and stuff like that. that's very emotional support for them great for them that wasn't my case but that's that's my advice but you know I have to think of like one bad experience. I don't know. I feel like everything's just been like, as you said, like a lesson learned. If I could think without saying too much. Um, I feel like they involve like guys and just like being too much into a guy or like thinking like we were something and then finding out. We don't out got a name, bro. Yeah. But you know, we, we know always have like that. <laughs> but yeah, it was like I was Which into one? somebody freshman year. <laughs> just a heartbreaker for me just because it was like a crush i was into a guy and then i just found out it was not what i was thinking in my head you know, Thanks, little, 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 little. oh what, what happened why what, what happened with the guy okay let me get it let me just say it okay so freshman year i liked the guy and i think we had gone to the calf or something with like we had a whole group of friends and we go we go to the calf and we sit and eat a girl comes up to him and all his friends are like looking at him like, oh, you know, oh, what they got going on. But then they see me and they knew we had something going on. So they're like, shh, like keeping it on a hush hush, trying to like cover up like that we were, that he was doing stuff with other girls, basically. And that I was oh, there. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they're trying, yeah, trying to keep it a secret from me. And I could tell that they were just being secretive and he was messing around with other girls while I thought we were, you know, to, like not together, but like exclusive, which is a mistake to make. Don't think you're exclusive with nobody. Please, you please. Make it known. You're make not exclusive. If girls Actions and words don't match, don't believe it. These A&T no. men, they, they no. It ain't even just A&T men. Niggas ain't. <laughs> yeah. It ain't yeah. nothing. But like, they, they just, I don't know. You know, because some of these men just extra sassy and they just uh, sassy. Uh, oh, uh. that's a problem too. How you sassier than me? <laughs> I hate that. Get mad when I say I'm the nigga. <laughs> okay, I'm, the nigga. I'm running a relationship basically. Matter of fact, go cook my food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, have you guys ever liked the same guy at the same time? No. Y'all stop lying. Oh my does, God. That <laughs> <laughs> does that count? Does that count, man? Yes, it does. Wait, oh. what were we talking about? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the one who wants you bad? Yeah. <laughs> but like, no, no. Okay. I don't think, I we all thought he account. was cute. Yeah. We never liked yeah. him. That's like, why they didn't count for me. Oh, yeah. we wanted him. Like, <laughs> we yeah. never argued with him. It was him. never worth yeah. pursuing. Yeah. We never yeah. tried to pursue him. Yeah, exactly. We didn't know it was not. It was just eye candy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, ooh, he's fine. Like, ooh, what you doing? You know, that's it. That's all. Um. How do we balance school and our social life? Girl. See, me, I like to do my work during the day. So but once I leave campus, I'm done. So like in between classes and stuff, that's when I try to do my work or do it by a certain time frame. Oh, that's so, hard. So I clock out when I clock out. If you do your homework when it's due, the day it's assigned, you won't be procrastinating and you won't put it off so much. That's something I've learned. Do it the day it's been assigned. I still do that. But, um, <laughs> I, I'm still balancing. You know, I gotta work. I still go to the gym. That, that that itself, like, it's a lot. It gets overwhelming. So I'm still balancing. I'm still figuring it out. But it gets easier each year. I I do say that. It is hard. It is like you want to go out and have a party with your friends, so you might skip a few classes. Especially like me, I had an 8 a.m. freshman year. I don't know. I I still watch YouTube videos and I, you know. Don't get an 8 a.m. and I still didn't listen. And I'm over here skipping all my 8 a.m. classes. So I can't skip. I can't skip. I did. The 8 a.m. I'm gonna be there. I'm sorry. I can't skip it. I did. I still got. I'm gonna go. I still got a good grade. You know, that's all that matter. I still pass. Like as long. But I I recommend. Um, what what was I saying? You were just talking about 8 a.m. and then you lost me because I said I can't. I can't skip no 8 a.m. It was no. balancing the um, work and oh, yeah. uh, social life. Yeah, that's hard. So Ooh, I feel like getting a routine works too. Because I have I have a routine and you know I like to write a lot of things out. 
Mm -hmm. Be organized with it. Mm -hmm. Organization, yes, yeah. have a schedule. Oh. Be organized, write your shit down. Just stay on top of your stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm still working on. I'm not organized. What you mean? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not organized. I don't. <laughs> that's, that's okay. That's okay. 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 At least you're saying more than you were before. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I don't. I'm not good with talking, so you know I'm not gonna be talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least you finally told the people. Right, yeah. right, right, right. How did we all meet? I remember how I met Bobby and Victoria. It was the literal last day of freshman year. We had to be gone mm -hmm. five o'clock the next morning. Well, mm -hmm. afternoon, and. Uh, my homegirl, she was like, you know, the guys have some friends over. They want to come over and play some games or whatever. I said, okay, cool. Um, we went down. We started playing. They said that they thought I was mean or whatever because I was quiet. But <laughs> she just had that look. We, but we had a good old time. But we didn't yeah. leave till about what? Seven in the morning? Girl, we had a we was, long day. Oh, yeah. it, was, uh, it, was, it was the last day. Like, mm -hmm. But mind you, I left like nine that morning. So I didn't go to sleep at all. Crazy. <laughs> It was like, fun. I had yeah. a great time. Dude, I still look back. I still look at back at them videos and get a good laugh. Oh, I know, no, right? I, that's embarrassing. <laughs> no, like, like, no, I have to look at certain ones, like the one with me and Bobby, or <laughs> uh, no, no, because when me and when dude gave me that lap dance, that took me out. I, that forever cracked me up. Yeah, and I, I still, still you know, I still, you know, I still remind Bobby like <laughs> I still kiss that dude that yes! she started. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that's so weird. I forgot about that. Yeah, I got the video too. Don't, Don't ever show me that. that. Right? That's so nasty. Like every time I think about it, I'm like, yeah. Mm. When it was a great night, like it just feels like a great vibe, great energy. It was like an instant connection. Like it instant. was. It was a good night. Mm -hmm. And then we met Alicia freshman year. Yeah, I met them. Um, they were. Who did I meet first? I think I met you first. I think you all I don't know. Tomorrow. Yeah, I met them while they were drunk. And you came in your room. You had she yes. had y'all. She had a clean print. She had. I'm telling you, at least fifty Dove soaps <laughs> all on her counter. Like yeah. it was insane. I was like, it looked like you a. Don't even use her. <laughs> yeah, she looked like a like a hoarder. <laughs> That's I lucky was. I lucky was. Oh my god. I she was like, and this girl got a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I we, met Alicia. Oh, oh sorry. Right. No, y'all can go on because I'm just, Sorry. <laughs> but the first time I met Alicia, I just remember you coming in our room. Ty brought you to our dorm. Oh, yeah. And Curtis. And then you got sick and you had to leave. Yeah. And then I remember thinking, who was that girl? No, but I met y'all before that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you were drunk, though. Oh. Y'all were like, like not drunk. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Yeah, I met Alicia at that game that y'all had. The first the one. <gasps> Oh, that's right. Oh, last year. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, and we stay friends ever since. Yeah. 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 And I met Victoria freshman year of high school. Yeah, that's my OG. You know, these my OGs, but that was my real OG no, in the back. She's your day one, we're yeah. your day two. Okay. <laughs> Me and Bobby, I went up to her, what was it? We were in gym class, and you know, she was a new girl. You know, I've always been outgoing, so I went up to her, I was like, hey, my name's Victoria, you're so new. Because she was shy, like, she didn't talk to nobody. Shy, yeah. Like, this Bobby y'all see now is not the Bobby that I met or grow up with uh, now. So it's like really different, and I love seeing her like flourish. It's like, ah, oh, it's just amazing. I love seeing her friends flourish and go through their uh, shit. <laughs> And you know, hopefully, come out and better for it. Mm -hmm. But uh, next question: um, How do you guys feel being compared to each other? Like, have you guys ever been compared to like or someone compared? See, to I've, had, I've been compared to Madison, mm -hmm. but it was because you know, like, Essex. Mm -hmm. You know, she she had the chest and oh. yeah. Um, but other than that, no. I don't think I've ever been compared to y'all, not to my face. Mm -hmm. How do you, how would you feel like if you're compared to? I correct them because you know I love y'all. Y'all great people. I ain't all, but I don't want to be y'all. I'm not Sheree. I'm like period. Yeah, period. it's just all like everybody's yeah. different in their own way. Um, Alicia, I don't I've never been compared to anyone. Okay, yeah. Bobby. I feel like since Victoria and I've been friends for so long, we're so close. People always like, you know, pair us up together, and like it just becomes like a thing. But I feel like comparison in any way, shape, or form will always just end up being like 
if you compare yourself to someone else or someone else compares you, like it's just always so annoying in some certain ways because you're your own person, you got your own faults, you got your own flaws, you got your own quirks. So being compared to someone, it's just, it's not always a great feeling, but it doesn't happen that, that often. <laughs> I don't like being compared like I, my brothers, sisters, anybody like I've been compared to my brother my whole entire life because we all went to the same school so uh, it was like oh you guys look alike and stuff like that and I just I don't like being compared to anybody so being compared to my friends they're all, all very pretty but it kind of takes away from who I am as an individual so I don't really like it and if you do it <laughs> I'm correct you. Ask, ask one of my friends. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, if you watch this video, you know I do not like being compared. Like, I just do not. But you know what? To say that I'm a twin, I, they did a good job not comparing us. Right. You they don't even know y'all twins. No, like good. growing up, like they did a good job not comparing us. Like even in school and in classes and stuff, they really they never. But I guess because we kept ourselves separate. I don't know. Yeah, true. Yeah, like my um my brother, literally, he he's very smart and so he's good at German. He was like number two in the national and our high school, and I took German too. But you know, I was more fluent in Spanish than him, and my German teacher was like. Why do you take Spanish? Why are you not as good as German? You know what I'm saying? Baby, I gotta, I, I gotta be in this class. Like, right. like, oh, you wanna fight? <laughs> you know, <laughs> wanna fight? I just don't want to be prepared. But next question: Um, what's a deal breaker in friendships? You Boy, talk my right. business. Oh. No, you you can't you can't I can't trust you. No, you run your mouth too much. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like how I tell someone something, oh I remember I told my friend something and then I hear it from like one of her best friends. And mm. I'm just like, well I didn't tell you that. Like it was just always such a like, mm, okay. Mm. Yeah. So talkative. Yeah, I think, um, what is it? What's that good one? Um, that secret animosity like that. Animosity. You know, yes. when you're not genuine yeah. about your things, don't be around me with that. True. Yeah, very negative. Uh, I don't like that. If you're very negative energy or you the condescending, that yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you, know, you that entitled behavior, get out of my face. Yeah, yeah. get out of my face. And then I think Bobby said boy crazy too. So yeah, I agree. Ooh, like, I've had. It's a lot of girls here. Oh, that do. And then the one I had, she was really clingy too. She treated me like she was like I was her man. Girl, yeah, a girl that treats you like you're her girlfriend. I've but, never had a friend like that though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But luckily it wasn't bad because you know we weren't together every day, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh are you guys low or high maintenance? I'm low maintenance. I'm a low maintenance. I'm high. I feel like certain things I'm low maintenance and certain things I'm high maintenance. No, it's just, okay, so I, I feel like I'm pretty low maintenance. It's just I have standards. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm high maintenance. Yeah, I like right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you was lying to yourself, whatever. If I'm low maintenance, it's, I don't like you. Right, if I don't require you, I don't like expect you. I don't expect a lot from you. See, right. you should you should do that on your own. I shouldn't have to expect it. Right. Come on, bring it in. Um, <laughs> what's one piece of advice you would give someone entering their 20s? Ooh. Let them people go. They show you their colors, believe it. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, it's hard to let people go, but. Don't Ooh, be scared of loose friends. I got yes. The heavy on that one. Trust them good. Mmm, that's a good one. True. Um, yeah, one life. And yeah. Okay. Next one. Tips on improving your style and dressing. Like how you dress. Um that comes with more of knowing knowing yourself. Yeah. Because it's like as I grow into my femininity or whatever I'm doing. Um, I've learned what I like and what I don't like, and I've kind of got my style pretty much together. It's just I now need the funds. <laughs> right. <girl. laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I feel like once you're more comfortable with yourself, your style will yeah. Because you're more confident in what you can do. See, look, right. look at it, look at it. Put it right. out, put it out. Oh, Alicia, what you guys say? <laughs> I can do <the> show. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think it is finding yourself, but I, I think um, 
20s is kind of hard because I'm still changing. I'm still liking different things and kind of figuring out what I like. So right now, I don't really have an answer because I'm still in the process of. But I think, um, I think looking at girls that you aspire to be, not comparing yourself, but looking at them like, oh, this is something that would fit me and kind of get in different styles and see what, what, what would fit you, kind of make it your own also help me kind of create my own or it's creating my own and i love everything pinky girly so looking at other girls is very classy girly that's what i aim for so um just look on pinterest and stuff and mommy gave me the idea so you know i thought about trying new things too because that's how i started expanding on what i like is by trying stuff yes mm -hmm. yes you never know until you like try it see it on yourself mm -hmm. like you might think oh that won't look good on me that won't look right on me and like i can't pull this off you can if yeah. you got a comment. Girl, put it on. Right, put <laughs> it on. Don't be afraid. Look crazy, cause mm -hmm. I know I do sometimes. <laughs> sure, if you go to HBCU, they are gonna think you did it on purpose. Right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the fashion here it, is ridiculous. Be, yeah. be who you are. You literally, if you're creative, own your creativity, and it'll shine through. It's authentic. Period. Okay. Um, what are your love languages as friend? A friend. Oh, that's a As a friend, probably acts of service, depending on how close I am to you, physical touch. Mm -hmm. But like the physical touch with my friends is very minimal. Like my foot touching your knee. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, you know, we just chilling on the couch or something. Mm -hmm. I say for mine, it's just quality time. Quality, yeah. yeah. I can't tell. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I mean, see, if I ain't like y'all, <laughs> right, right. If I ain't like y'all, I wouldn't be here right now, you know, because I like being by myself, so, you know, mm -hmm. if I'm spending time, you know. That's true. Quality time and acts of service. Yeah, yeah. Acts of service, girl. You know. <laughs> I mean, you guys want to give me gifts. <laughs> you know, that's um, acceptable. How does that change? I ain't got money like that. I ain't got money like this. Um, um. Tips on feeling confident going to North Carolina and tea with beautiful women. Really? I know I'm beautiful. <laughs> but it's, it's, I, I mean, it's all within loving yourself. That you have to have some level of confidence because beauty is within. You know. Very true. So what if they don't have it? You have to. You have to learn how to love yourself. I, you have because everybody does it differently. Like the way I learned how to love myself is not the way Alicia learns how to love herself or Victoria or Bobby. Mm -hmm. Um. Figure out what works for you, get comfortable within your skin, love who you are, yeah. then it will show from now. I started saying affirmations because when I first got there here freshman year, I wasn't really that confident. You know, we got to wear masks and that made it even worse for me because I felt like shit. Oh, I, I, I got so used to hiding my face and stuff. And so uh, I think saying affirmations and kind of putting yourself in a position to be around beautiful women too. Like, put yourself in those positions because once you see beautiful women, I guess it will kind of reflect off you to start to think, oh, okay, maybe, you know, I'm surrounded by beautiful women. I'm just as beautiful. Kind of reaffirming yourself like, I'm, I'm beautiful, you know? Affirmation, so that's my thing. Just the eyes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Girl, no, we ain't got no eyes. <laughs> <money. laughs> Alicia, <laughs> um, <laughs> you you have anything that, that you do to, that, like that you do to make yourself feel beautiful? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. ooh, okay. I don't really need. We'll find it. I say for Alicia then, uh, create routines and habits. Like I I you know my skincare. That's a, a consistent habit. Yeah, right. And you gotta keep um, like right. how I always do like light makeup, something simple. Girl, that refrigerator doing nothing, y'all. <laughs> um, you know, like how, like even now, I, you know, did put on tiny bit of makeup because y'all were coming over, like just doing simple things, like getting, just getting my nice little sense together, doing things that make you feel good. Yeah, that's very important. Like taking care of yourself will make you feel pretty. Like I don't care what I'm doing, if I look pretty, if I feel pretty, I'm, I'm gonna be productive. Like if I feel pretty, like I'll, I'll be smarter, I'll be like Hello. friendlier, like Hell I'll be now. better. Hey, I'll be smarter. <laughs> go, out, go out feeling your best. Go out 
you know, trying to look decent at least so you feel good and it shows that you feel good so you won't be having so much anxiety when a cute boy comes up to you. Cause you do like, I know I look good that I put that on like Right, that. like of course. Like, <laughs> like, like, I bet he better look, he better look at me. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever felt unconfident while at a and I kind of answered it. But. Ooh, yeah. I, yeah, I definitely have. Like I feel like Finding yourself is all part of the process. Like I used to wear lashes every single day, and then when I took them off, I would feel like, like, ooh, I look like, like a rat without lashes. On. <laughs> so I had to learn how to just like love myself without makeup on and go out to the stoop without makeup on, go to classes without makeup on, and still feel like the baddest bitch in that room. Okay. See, mine was more of a like mental and academic insecurity versus a physical one. Because mm. oh. you know that like, all my being a bio major, all my like classmates, they be on top of it. And I said, mm. like, <laughs> ooh, I feel that. So yeah, it was more of a academic, you know, pushback than a physical one. Because I've always thought I was cute. You know, I I've never been insecure in my looks since I've been in college. That's amazing. Yeah, not for real. <clears throat> Yeah, girl, I'm blessed to not have that. Yeah, but I'm true. <laughs> God said that academic was enough. <laughs> Let's talk about it, though. Being academically challenged and feeling like you're not as smart as you were in high school when you get to college. That's going to hit you for sure. Yes. That's yeah, inevitable. You're going to feel like that regardless. It'll, but you, that means you got to work 10 minutes hard. Yeah, and that's what you got to learn. No, but you also have to remind yourself that you are smart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. That's hard. That was challenging for me. Okay. Um... How do you view each of each other? Like how how do I view Sheree or how do you view You know, that's one of my questions in the books, y'all. Like how do other people like see like how do they be on the other side of you? Oh. Shoot. I mean, if I had that question written down, I need to answer it. Well I can answer that tonight. Bobby, how do you see everybody? Okay. Um so so Sheree, I, I view her as very friendly, very like homey, like she reminds me of just like home and like being surrounded by like loved ones. Like I just, when I'm around her, I can feel like the love and I can feel like the warmth she brings and the energy she brings. I bring warmth? Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when I'm around Victoria, I just feel the energy. Like it's just upbeat, like it's always gonna be a good time. I know that regardless, I can feel, I also feel like the love and I feel like just being cared for by my like friends. I feel like cared for when I'm in y'all's presence. Mm -hmm. And I feel like y'all won't like anything bad happen to me. Like it's like a protection type of, of thing. Course. Like I always know that. With Alicia, I feel I feel protective over Alicia. Like I just feel like she I view her as someone who just has so much potential and so much strive and so much that she can do with her life. And I just view her like in a very positive and a very I want her to get what she wants type of, you know, mindset. So how do you view yourself? myself as someone who is kind, hopefully. You know, I view myself as kind. I try to be friendly to everybody I meet. Like I try to greet everybody with a smile and just make sure people feel like kindness right. any interaction with me if they kind to me. Okay. Alicia. Huh. Who you starting with? Um, <laughs> so I got both my lips. Girl, why you listen to that? Make it sound. No, you know. No, no, no. Why you say that? Wait, you need to call. Rephrase it. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is what we go through, y'all. This is what we go through. And this is what I listen to, child. Good one, baby. Maybe that's something you're working on this year. Yeah. Oh. Um. Snap, snap, I agree. So, Bobby, who do I want to start with? Bobby, um. No, I'm not good. Thank you, baby. Um, Bobby, yeah, she's like the sweetest one. Huh? I'm gonna let you finish. I forgot to tell y'all something that I did. Okay. Okay. Um, Bobby, she's like the sweetest one in the group. You know, the nicest one. Um, yeah, mine would be like short. You know. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Right. At least you talk like that. With Victoria. Basically what Bobby said, like she she brings a lot of energy, you know. Um no, yeah. I always feel like a positive vibe around her. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> 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 oh, 
Cherie, Cherie, basically what Bobby said. Like I feel like you know, <laughs> she gives like a mother, like a motherly, you know, you know, like type of vibe. Like, yeah, like you just feel at home, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Yeah, I, I can agree. Like I, I can agree. Tell. I feel like every time we go out, I know she's gonna make sure we okay. So I'm a my crew. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like a lot of support, a lot of like love from her. You know. Oh wait, we forgot to ask Alicia how she felt about herself. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean, stop you. I'm not. You're good. Yeah, you're right. All right. That's what I'm saying. You know? Oh my God! You're not lying. You're not lying. How's Alicia feel about Alicia? Um, I feel like I'm not. I'm not where I could be. You know? Yeah, that's it. Um, you don't see like the the greatness about you. You ain't got nothing great that you want to express about yourself. Mm. This is your chance. You're talking to the whole world. Don't tell her that she's nothing. Oh my God. For the five views, I better repost. Thank you. Like, yeah, yeah. like, like. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You don't have more good quality that you will say about you. I'm nice, you know. We might have to work on that. I have a good yeah. spirit, you know. Okay, okay, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. That's it. Okay, well, we're gonna work on it. We're yeah, work yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. And then how I see. Uh, Alicia, I see her as someone that, like Bobby. Is <laughs> <laughs> that great point? <laughs> I did set the bar for you. Yeah, I did that. I did that. I did that. She has like a lot of potential to grow. I wish she would uh, step out of her shell a little bit more because she. I feel like once she does, it's like she would be unstoppable. So I feel like. I see her as someone that does need a grow, but I love and support her, and she's always supportive of us. Mm -hmm. So I love being around her, you know. And then Bobby, um, my day one, you know, <laughs> she I can feel like lots of stuff with her. Baby. Like <laughs> she does everything, you know. Get someone to talk to, very supportive. She's not very affectionate, yeah. but um, <laughs> you still feel that love of support and care. Or she's very attentive to how you feel, very attentive to, um, she's a good person to have a conversation with and she listens very well, you know. Oh, so, <laughs> I do like talking to her. Um, we agree on, on most things, we're just very alike. And then, how do I see myself? I do see myself as someone that's positive. I do find myself, uh, need growth but I find myself like you know someone that's going through life and happy I'm just a very happy person and I like family and friends around me to share that happiness so yeah happy me okay okay um so I'm going to say things a little different from what y'all were saying <laughs> thank you <laughs> somebody had to do it somebody had to do it so like with Victoria, I don't see y'all be saying she got all the energy. Bobby's the one with all the energy. I don't think <laughs> um, even though Victoria does have a lot of energy, she is more like a driven energy. Mm. I feel like when Bobby is more of a free energy. Oh. Yeah. I feel like oh. that, I feel like that's a good way to put it. Yeah. 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 So it's like Victoria, she more we gonna get it. Like, <laughs> Especially like when it comes to going down, I don't care what I do. Y'all drink, y'all turn it up. Like, she gonna make sure we have that time. Bobby. That's no, the one she no, probably like, take it away. Oh, I'm gonna get the hug. Oh, like, but you do it to you ain't yeah. too much better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially them big. <laughs> Cause you, you be trying to make sure, but you are, you know, you are making sure everybody does have a good time. You're, you kind of like a mixture of me and Bobby. Mm. That's what I feel like. Mm -hmm. Um, with Alicia, the best of both worlds. <laughs> With Alicia, I feel like she she cut up, but she want to be quiet. Mm -hmm. She need to break out her shell. Yes, she act like she was not her shell. Not trying to get naked. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was trying. Cause we. Oh, let me see. What if, I, I knew what I was gonna say, but I forgot. <laughs> but no, Alicia, she she like to have fun. I need to see yeah, that do. energy. Yeah, y'all see Alicia drunk, but yeah, cause I the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alicia, I don't know how to Alicia, one of the things like, you know, like, uh, not a gym. It kind of is a gym, but you know, like, 
a crystal. You Bro, what are you talking about, man? You know, like it on the outside, it's like a rock. Oh it is like a <laughs> oh, hard you... rock. <laughs> hey, it looks so bad. <laughs> Ahead, but no, really, I'm saying that because like you don't interact with us a, as much. Like you're so quiet to yourself. Like you don't give a lot of personality. Like you just, you just, you just say it like. Once we break through to it, you know, yeah, you, you see all the shininess and all the colors right. and stuff. Like, you, you actually fun. Yeah, you're so funny. Why you think she all funny, y'all? She not just friends with bland people. She knows. See, if you want to get in chest, let her get it. If you get, if you gave me a chance to get it out, I could have had it out. But with Bobby, I feel like yeah, she is the sweetheart of the group. Oh. Um, she she, I feel like Bobby's the, the group cheerleader. Like Aww. yeah, yeah. You, she's always the happiest, quickest one to try to cheer somebody up. That's definitely Bobby. Oh, thank yeah. y'all. <laughs> and the way I see myself, yes, I am the mother of the group. I've been saying that through and through. I've known that since high school. Um, so I just embrace at this point because my goal was to always make sure my friends had safe space. Safe space with me, and this year I've confirmed that I've achieved it. Yeah, so I'm yeah. happy. <laughs> Honestly, um, what are red flags and opposite sex friendships? Ooh, that's a good question. The uh, the disrespect of boundaries. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Sexual comments yes. either about you, about your body. It's like when you can tell they don't view you as, as a, a friend. friend. Cause like if I can joke with you and we can keep it as a joke, okay, mm -hmm. that's cool. But like, don't don't get carried away now, sir. Right? Don't touch me. Don't type away. Don't try. Cause it. I'll be quick to say ew. Like <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah. 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 Um. I You know dudes that do when they not allowed to, because you know dudes be talking. Oh, they, sassy men. They be yapping. Yeah, yeah, they will not argue with you, like mm -hmm. oh, all the gosh. time. Like your girlfriends would. Like it just, it doesn't give man. Yeah. It gives little boy, and that's a lot of little boy stuff that Ooh, doesn't be. Okay I have. With. Okay, so I got a good one. So you know, like all my guy friends, they're very protective. Like even, like even though we're not dating, you know, they're very courteous and they're gentle. Like they don't let me open the door. They the sidewalk rules still apply. So if my guy friends aren't like that with me, yeah, you don't open the door. Business. If you don't open the door, you ain't. <laughs> but you ain't nothing. It's more than just open the door. Like <laughs> you, you still protect me, and you still, you know, take the time to treat me as a woman, oh, even yeah. if, regardless whether we're platonic or romantic. They don't have a good relationship with their mother. Ooh, well I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you got a daddy, <laughs> a good daddy. So. True, true. <laughs> they don't have a good relationship with their mother. It just it doesn't give. I'm gonna give you as. You don't know how to respect a woman. Yeah, respect oh, if you call a girl a bitch. Ooh, woo! They got me. See, that's when you say your mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I better get mad. Yeah. If you out here calling girls bitches, or you calling your girl, your friend, your friends bitches, mm -hmm. you don't respect that. Matter of fact, I had thought about that today because, like, I saw something on TikTok and a guy was like, no, ooh, Popeyes. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> So Papa I said posted and it was like a girl standing on top car or something. He was like, That's not my B. I said, uh. Oh god. Okay. Cause you know like I out of all the things my man will ever call me my B is not one. Call my old lady, oh my, my, god. my my wife, my girl, all, anything else but my, my B. Bitch. No. Hey guys, um I got sick. Hold on, let me not So we go in the video here. Yeah, we we I don't feel like thank you for watching my first video. Um definitely like, share, subscribe. If you guys want a part two, comment below. Um, this is my first video, so be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for being in my video. I love you guys. Love you. Love you. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more content this year. Bye.